Yo, what's up guys? Today in this video, I'm going to be talking... Okay, the microphone works. The microphone is being used. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I find extremely interesting. And it is applicable to any realm of endeavor that requires intense amounts of skill and intense amounts of focus. And I think this uh, this is like required... Um, because to reach one place, it's going to take a long time, a long time working hard, doubting yourself, taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, pushing, 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 and never really like knowing where you end up until you end up there or end up close to there or end up to a spot where you're incredibly satisfied with. And what I'm talking about here is working extremely hard all for one result, which is the title of this video, all for one result. Think about the boxer. This is an example that comes to my mind because I do boxing. I haven't been consistent with boxing. For the last four weeks, I've been training like a few times, a handful of times. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I couldn't tell you. But been to the gym a few times. Injuries, sore. Should I, could I have trained? Yes. I could have trained otherwise, other things. Could have went running. Could have done cardio. Could have done the bicycle. Could have done the sticks. I don't know what they're called. Like, you know, when you like you put your two feet on the, the things and you could push it. And then, yeah. I don't know what it's called. I'll take a picture when I when I if I can, and I'll put it in the final video of this. But for the raw video, that's <laughs> that's all you're gonna get. I apologize. Uh, I could have done cardio. I could have done weightlifting. I could have you know I could have done more forearm training. I apologize for the voice crack. I, I could have done more and more and more and more. I could have compiled the amount of effort that I put in, and I could have become something greater. No doubt, I could have had like incredible like physique. At the end of the recovery like session, when all my wrists are fully healed, I'll have so much cardio. Like my cardio will be so good when I get into the ring, that I wouldn't tire out. So just something simple as that. I wouldn't tire out. For one result, I don't want to be tired. All these things must be meticulously done every single day, day after day, without fail, in order for me to fully become successful, fully reap the rewards of. My, my gym journey or my boxing journey and then also I'll be you know punching the bag a lot skipping a lot shadowing a lot shadow sparring sparring body sparring all of the nine every single type I would have to do meticulously day after day after day for when that one night comes when I am on my world championship fight night I can win that fight because all those hundreds of days prior I dedicated to this one moment for this one result. Victory. Are you guys like understanding what I'm understanding here? It's effectively cause and effect. It's cause and effect. Think about it in another sense. The entrepreneur. You know, I read um, a reader... Um, I don't know if you guys know Alex Becker. Alex Becker is an inst incredibly instrumental, influential entrepreneur in the self improvement space. It's a bit of an OG character like Brandon Carter. And I really do respect his work and I really respect his work ethic. And he has like notes, like a PDF somewhere online, notes of the 10 pillars of wealth. And in the notes it says, in one of the pillars for the notes, accept that your business must be your first priority. And then he also continues to say, if your business is not first priority, that's okay. But you're going to have to accept the fact that it's very unlikely that you will become a millionaire. Same with boxing. You, will, you become a boxer, sure. But it's very unlikely you become a world championship boxer. Same with entre or YouTube, entrepreneurship, any realm of endeavor you can think of. If you do not have 100% focus in that endeavor, it is very unlikely you will be at the top echelons. Of this endeavor. If you put one foot here. One foot there. One toe here. One foot there. One finger here. One finger there. And you spread out all your obsessions. Your your passions. Your hobbies. Etc. Etc. It is very unlikely you will be glorious. You will be great at just this one thing. All of this hard work. All for one result. Isn't that like. Crazy to think about. 20 years ago. 30 years ago. When Elon sold PayPal, sold a share, $180 million, and reinvested it all in his back to his company, slept on a couch again, 
All for what? All for one result. Go to space. Go to Mars. Yeah. That was what it's for. It's all that all that work for one result. Imagine that. Your entire life in front of you, you should decide, no. I want this one thing. I'm going to dedicate 100% of everything to this one thing, and I'm going to get it. It's like, no, it's like the money thing for Elon. Elon would never run out of money. I mean, he can, technically, if he spends all of it, you know, if, if enough rockets crash. and if it, it, No, I can't even say that if people try to short sell his sock, or short his so- stock, or stock, sock, stock. Because Tesla is the most shorted stock in history. But they failed. They, tr- they tried to bankrupt this company. They failed. He tried it, he tried it. Over what? One result. I didn't mean to like get a pause there. But what if my voice cracks, bro? It's actually starting to make me like fucking pissed. I didn't mean to pause there. Um, I was eating food. But it kind of just added to the suspense a bit. And uh, I'm gonna. And the advice I'm going to give to you as well. If you guys are understanding my drift, all this hard work for one result, you have to understand that whatever like realm of endeavor you want to pursue, you're going to have to put everything into it. You can't just dip a finger in here and here and there into it. It's impossible. It's, it's completely impossible. There is no way. You are not a demigod. You're not, even a genius has to work hard. You're, and you're not a genius. And if you are, then congratulations, you're still going to have to work hard. You want to be the best? You want to be like a Floyd Mayweather? Sure. You can be a Floyd Mayweather of your sport, of your of your realm of endeavor, sure. Floyd Mayweather's a genius, but if he didn't run 10 kilometers every single goddamn day, train every single goddamn day, rest and recover... Every single goddamn week, then he wouldn't be the best, and he's a genius. It, it, everything, like I, it's just breathtaking. Like you just slow down the fight, his his fights in like in real time. You see, it's beautiful. Everything's beautiful. Like he just doesn't get hit, and when he does get hit, it's so negligible. Like he just keeps, he just keeps moving. He's a master <clears throat> of timing and range and distance and speed. <clears throat> like his knockouts back in the day. What because of power? His uncle had that Roger Mayweather, the Black Mamba. His dad had a bit of that, but he had no. He had power, but the way he got his knockouts was precision and speed. And it, it, it's beautiful. Everyone forgets about Pretty Boy. Everyone, everyone thinks about make money. If you think about money, sure, you like you you get a boring or a fight. But if you if you think about Pretty Boy, you'll see his electric rise to the top. It was insanity. It was insane. And, like, it's just, honestly, like, it's just, it's, it's, he's from a different era, honestly. Floyd was from a different era. It was harder to get, like, that, not necessarily power, no, powerful. I'm going to say powerful. It was hard to get that powerful, to get that brilliant in his time, because at that time in boxing, there were so many big names out there in his, in his uh, uh, thing, weight class. He had, like, Arturo Gatti, who beat up. He had Emmanuel Augustus, who went by Emmanuel Burton at the time. Sugar Shane Mosley, uh, Manny Pacquiao, uh, Mar- Marquez. I don't think he fought um, the cheater, uh, Margarito. Margarito was cheating. Uh, I don't think he should have. He should have. He would have beat Margarito anyway. Uh, Margarito might be a bigger guy, but I think Margarito. Was it Marquez? I don't know. I don't know. They look very similar, but they're not. Um, Margarito, he weighed like super overweight, like twenty pounds overweight. He still got beat the fuck up by Manny. Like if Manny beats him and then he beats Manny, like it's very, very standard, straightforward. And even though that logic might not make fully sense, you have to think about it. He's like a, a very, very slick, crafty kind of striker. He's not gonna get hit, bro. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent here. But like you see all the names he's being compared to him like a like a person of today, like a tank, 
Tank has Lomachenko, Tiafima Lopez, Devin Haney, George Combosis Jr., Ryan Garcia, whom he, he, he has already beat. All, only has like six, eight, maybe ten names at maximum. Ten more fights. No, I think six is like, no, five or six. I'll, I'll probably say like six. Six names he can like really, really put down. No, no. Tiafima Lopez, Devin Haney, George Combosis Jr., uh, no, I'm trying to name that. Oh, Jesus Christ, I just named them. Fuck. No, Lomachenko. Um, Shakur Stevenson. Ryan Garcia. Like, uh, he, he, in order to define, like, you are the best, there's only, like, a few more fights you have to make. And then you can be, like, critically acclaimed the best. Straight up. The, qu- the quality of um, opposition has decreased immensely with the course of time. Because people don't understand cause and effect, and people that do understand cause and effect, they just don't execute on it because of modern modern instant gratification, instant gratification distractions. I was thinking modern pleasures. I, I was trying to, I was stuttering because my brain was like modern pleasures, modern modern. I keep saying it again because my brain's struggling again. Jesus Christ! It's like I don't want to be like sound condescending here or like you know too geeky or like uh, like an Elon Musk. When I'm talking slow, but I'm stuttering because I'm thinking about too many things. I'm trying to say I'm not just speaking. I'm not, I'm not in the flow state, but it's kind of annoying because being in the flow state is really nice. Don't know about you guys. Anyways, back to my point. Like people don't understand cause and effect. People don't understand that that first trip to the gym is not going to be like you're not going to get your dream physique. And your first trip to the gym, even if you work your ass off, you're not going to get your dream physique. And if you work your ass off for 100 days, maybe then you'll see some results. That's the truth. Depends on your genetics, but it depends on your age. If you're 18 and under, no, if you're 21 and under, you're going to see electric results. Because you're still developing your body. But if you're, uh, if you're 21 and older, doesn't matter what gender I believe. No, I believe if your woman is going to be young, but that, uh, my, my most the majority of my viewers, I think it's like 18 and younger, but it isn't too different. It's like three years, it's not, it's not too much. But let me put this in this way. No matter what you want, no matter what realm of endeavor you want to pursue, you are going to have have to work hard. Like to to the best of your ability, you're gonna have to reiterate, reiterate. You're gonna have to study. You're gonna have to like learn more. You have to read books. You're gonna have to develop your mind, develop your body in every single possible realm of like endeavor that that there is. You are going to have to do these things. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be something as weird as you know suing, or no, we suing isn't weird. Suing is pretty cool. I like suing. Suing is a very useful, useful ability to have, a very useful skill. But let's say it is something as weird as not playing chess, being a professional ice cream taster. You're going to have to taste hundreds of ice cream. You're going to have to talk to a bunch of people. You're going to have to understand all the flavors. You're going to have to like understand this company and that company and the nuance of it. Like, no matter what it is, you are going to have to dedicate a certain period of your life. Like, it doesn't matter what you want. I, I want a nice body. And then I hear guys, like, they don't train too hard in the gym because of it. And they're like, oh, yeah. I ask them why. Like, oh, yeah, I'm just doing it for fitness. I'm just doing it for this. Bro, you fucking absolute... What's it? Absolute pancake. You absolute... Mongoloid? You absolute big stiff idiot. <laughs> Taking one from Tyson Fury. Like you absolute stiff idiot. Like you want your fitness to increase. You're going to have to challenge the boundaries of your fitness every single time you train. In order to get a good fit physique. Especially if you want it quick. Like within a six month threshold. Six months is a hundred... 30 times 6 is 180. 180 days, I believe. A bit more. Depending on the months. But like, you're going to have to work your butt off, guys. I'm just doing it for fitness. I'm just doing it for fitness. Okay. Work harder. I don't understand. 
Why would you not want to work hard? What is your pro proclivity to, to working less hard? Your fitness. So you ignore your fitness. You ignore the fact that you're going to have to work hard in order to survive longer. Like this, this is not just simply looking good. Uh, pardon me. That was disgusting. Uh, I had another one of me. Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. It was disgusting. This isn't just about your fitness. This is about your mortality. You work hard now. You grind extremely hard now. You embrace the pain now. You embrace the hardship now. You spar a few more rounds. You train a few more rounds in the bag. Everyone's going home. Everyone's packing up. You're still shadow boxing in the ring. You do that now. See what happens in six months. See what happens in six decades. Your old self will be thanking you like no other mother fluffer. I don't, I don't know what to say there. Like no other good Samaritan for donating to them. Your older person, your older self, will be like head over heels like on your accomplishments. Think about that world champion, boxer, entrepreneur, you know, playboy, handsome young dude who's like still 35 and he's like reached his peak. Maybe he's got like, a f like two fights left into him or like, I don't know, if he's going crazy, he could fight you know, like five fights left him for fighting once a year. He could fight till he was 40, like Mayweather. I could do exhibitions as well. Think about that type of dude. When he's 40 and he's like not taking too much brain damage and he's accomplished and he's a millionaire, he's top of the world. Think of how happy he is for grinding so hard. He isn't happy for himself. And anyone that's successful isn't happy for himself or happy with who they are. They're happy for their past selves and, they were, and what their past selves had to do to become that successful and that brilliant. That's what he's grateful for. You understand, guys? That's the whole shebang. That's the whole stick. You're going to have to work hard like hell, like a mad dog without a leash, all for one result. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Um, the edited version hopefully will be better. And, you know, without the side tangents, side talks, and with text and images and, you know, maybe no more Batman gameplay. Maybe some Apex Legends gameplay. I don't know. I'm not sure. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's going to be the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Live mediocre. Die mediocre. Sorry.